Hello and welcome to the channel. Be sure to share, like, and comment down below. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for daily videos on news and politics. Rush Limbaugh says that the Democrats have done more to damage the elections than Vladimir Putin could in his dreams. Obama's 4 DNI uh, chief James Clapper said Thursday evening on CNN, it's a good thing that the deep state FBI was spying on Trump's camp. This is after he initially denied the intelligence community was even spying on Donald Trump. Now, the deep state liars have gone from complete denial to celebrating their illegal spying. Now, as reported earlier, Clapper then said it's a good thing that if the, that the FBI had someone observing Trump's campaign's interaction with the Russians because the Russians posed a threat to the very basis of our political system. Now, at, later on that day, Rush Limbaugh weighed in on this stunning admission by James Clapper. We have the audio of James Clapper. I wanted you to actually hear this. I mentioned it to you, but here's James Clapper last night on CNN with Don Lemon. Clapper is the former director of national intelligence for Obama. And they're talking about the story we began on this program on Monday. That the FBI had a spy in the Trump campaign or an informant. And again, I know who it is, but I'm not going to mention a name until it's officially mentioned or released. And it doesn't matter who. What's important is the FBI, the DOJ, the anti-Trump uh, anti people had a spy in the Trump campaign, an informant. And here is James Clapper being asked about it and, and basically saying, yeah, it's a good thing. The question from Lemon. Here's what the president tweeted. Andrew McCarthy says there's probably no doubt they had at least one confidential informant in the campaign. If so, this is bigger than Watergate, the president tweeted. Don Lemon, who's clueless, like Fredo Cuomo, is clueless. You'll hear an example of Fredo in clueless action in moments. Don Lemon said, that's an extraordinary claim. Based on your experience, Mr. Clapper, what's the likelihood that it's true? This is hyperbole. They may have had someone who was talking to them in the campaign, but, you know, the focus here, and as it was with the intelligence community, is not on the campaign per se, but what the Russians were doing to try to instantiate themselves in the campaign or to influence or leverage it. So if there was someone that was observing that sort of thing, well, that's a good thing, uh, because the Russians pose a threat to the very basis of our political system. Come on! I think it's hugely dangerous if someone like that is exposed, because uh, the danger to that person, not to mention the reluctance of others to be informants for the FBI. And the FBI gains a lot of valuable information from informants. So, so it's perfect. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what then, Clapper. Whoever you people run in 2020, we're going to put a spy. We're gonna, it's going to be a valuable thing. We're going to find out who it is It might be trying to rig the election for you. If the Russians tampering with campaigns is the big deal. You heard Clapper say, it's not Trump. No, no, this is hyperbole. We were trying to find out what the Russians were doing because the Russians are... You people have done more to damage the integrity of the American electoral process than Vladimir Putin could in his dreams. And I'm not joking. What these people have done for the last year and a half basically get people thinking the election was stolen, that it was illegitimate, that the Russians didn't want Hillary and wanted Trump and made it happen. Look what they have done to the image, the reputation of the American electoral system and process. These people are doing the damage to it and they continue to do it. Because they can't show any evidence whatsoever the Russians succeeded in determining the outcome of a presidential race. And we've got multiple sound bites of Obama himself admitting that it would be impossible to do. Our election, presidential election system is way too complex. You couldn't know enough in advance of where you would have to start playing games to pull anything off because the electoral college, precincts, vote turnout, you just, it couldn't be done. If it could, the Democrats would never lose. If they had found a way, if they had found a way to tamper with presidential elections, do you think they would ever lose one? No, but they do. They haven't found any evidence that the Russians succeeded, and yet they could continue to talk about it and validate the 
the idea that spies are worthwhile. These people need to be held accountable for this. They are doing this on purpose. They are attempting to impugn and cloud the very integrity of the electoral system as a means of explaining every election they lose in the future. They are doing this so that they'll be able to rant and rave that they were never rejected by voters, that voters didn't choose to vote against them because their policies, so the Russians must have done it. The Russians or other, other foreign entities must have been conspiring against these precious Democrat candidates. And it's gotten to the point now that this is so prevalent that you cannot watch primetime television without Rimmett. The entire series Homeland this year, the entire season, was devoted to this fake premise that the Russians were easily able to infiltrate anything they wanted. The Russians were able to get rid of a duly elected president. The Russians were able to determine the outcome of an election. The Russians cannot hold a candle to the American Democrat Party. The Russians can't hold a candle to the Chicoms in terms of worldwide power and the ability to project it. You talk about a straw man, straw dog, and not a shred of evidence. And now here's Clapper, and there's one more thing he said here that I want to double back to. This is hyperbole, he said. They may have had somebody who was talking to them in the campaign, but you know, the focus here, as it was with the intelligence communities, not on the campaign per se, but what the Russians were going to try, that is, pardon me, BS, Mr. Clapper. Your focus was Trump. Your focus was, it was Trump you were spying on. You weren't spying on the Russians. If you were trying to find Russian influence in the campaign, you'd have been looking in Russia. You'd have been looking at Putin. You'd been spying on people who would have done it. No, you were spying on Trump. You were trying to find evidence that Trump was conspiring with the Russians, not that Russia was conspiring with Trump. That's what you wanted to prove. And if you could have, if you got a good and gotten close to it, I know these people would have would have said so. This is total obfuscation. No, we weren't looking at the campaign. No, no, no. We were looking at the Russians because, of course, the Russians were going to try to instantiate themselves in the campaign and influence and leverage. Blah, 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 blah. These guys are trying to double back and cover their tracks, lying through their wooden teeth about what they were doing. So we'll just say that the next time there's a presidential race, we're going to vouch for a spy being in the Democrat campaign. It's a valuable thing. We need to have informants in there, Mr. Clapper, to see to it that foreign actors don't instantiate themselves, as you say, into the campaign and tamper with our precious, precious electoral process. All right, so be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below, and tell me how you feel about this report and uh, Rush Limbaugh's comments. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. Peace.